the Elements group in the Architecture tab. We have the Connections menu for inserting vertical communications into the model, choosing between stair, ramp and lift. Let's insert stairs using the stair span, stair span defined by three points, or stairwell tools. By clicking on the stair span button, a new window opens where we configure the stairs properties. First, we assign a reference, an existing label, and we associate it to a level. Underneath, in description, we define its dimensions, such as stair width, number of steps, tread, riser, and even if we want steps with nosing. We select the type of stairs depending on their construction system. In situ, monolithic stair, floating, or precast, which have some associated physical parameters that will appear depending on the type chosen. We finish configuring the stairs with a colour option by assigning the textures that will be shown in the 3D model for each of the stairs elements, and we click Accept. We then insert the newly configured staircase into the 3D model. To simplify its insertion, an additional bar appears where we choose the plan angle for the stair span and click on the place it will occupy in our model. Now we are going to insert another stair span using the stair span defined by three points tool. In the pop-up window, we enter the dimensions of the riser, then click on Accept to position it in the model. We insert the stairs into the model by marking the 3D insertion type, and then indicating three points. The first two in the desired plan view, which are the insertion point and the one indicating the dimension of the stairs area, and the last point on the stairs landing floor, indicating its slope. Once the three points have been inserted, a window will open where we modify the properties of these stairs, like we have done previously. Now, instead of a stair span, we are going to insert a stairwell, a more complex system that collects everything we have seen previously. We click on this tool and a new window with several tabs opens. In the stairwell tab, we define the number of repetitions at a rate of two per level, its complements, its spatial layout, and the direction of its rotation as it ascends. The stair span tab contains the same options as the one described when inserting a stair span. In the landing tab, we define its dimensions, its description, and the colors that will identify it. And in the railing tab, we indicate whether we wish to attach a railing to both sides of the stairs, as well as choosing the height, type, and colors. If we wish to insert ramps, we have the ramp span, ramp span defined by three points, and ramp core tools. They are all analogous to the stair insertion tools and have the same functions. Finally, we are going to insert a lift into the model with a lift and lift defined by three points tools. We click on lift and in the pop-up window, we define its dimensions, we assign a reference, a label and associate it to a level. Below, in description, we define its width, depth and height 
and in the door panel, we indicate its dimensions and its opening. We accept and insert it into the model with the help of the complementary bar, as we did previously with the stairs. We will finish by explaining the lift defined by three points option. This tool works in a similar way to stair span defined by three points. Selecting the 3D insertion mode, we indicate with the first two points the imaginary line where the entrance door will be placed, and place the final point at the maximum elevation the lift will reach.